So today's video is a bit different because it's getting colder and I just thought what can I do that doesn't involve being outside um, but relates to horses and something that you guys can enjoy doing during the autumn and the winter that's coming. So I thought today I would make some DIY horse treats because if, any, if your horses are anything like mine um, they are probably very greedy and all my horses love food and love treats. And it's nice to make your own um, because it just sort of adds that personal touch and it's really fun. So I'm going to be showing you how I make my DIY treats today um, and I hope you enjoy it. If you make some, let me know via my Instagram. Um, I'd love to see them. So yeah, I'll get on with the video. Okay, so this is everything you're going to need. I've got some oats, some molasses, which is actually really cheap. Um, some carrots, some apples, a bit of alpha alpha chop, although you can use any sort of chaff you want. And then I've got some flour because when I was like looking this up, everything used flour. I'm going to try and avoid using flour if I can, um, but if the consistency isn't working then I might have to add a little bit of it. So for my apples I use some that were just off the tree in the garden. Um, if you do use your own, make sure that they are eating apples and not cooking apples as cooking apples are very sour um, and aren't really ideal for your horse treats. Some horses might like them but just stick to your normal eating apples if you can um, and don't forget to give them a wash and bring them in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is preheat my oven. So I'm going to put it on at about 240, um, so the highest setting. Okay, so the first thing you want to do after you've preheated your oven is to grate your veg or your fruit or whatever you're using into the bowl. So obviously you're grating so it's in nice pieces that we can make into trees. So I've just got um, my little hand grater, you can use just a normal grater or whatever, um, it's easiest for you. And you just want to grate, just try and get it in the bowl. When you're grating things like apples it's not very easy. So once you get to the core, there's no point throwing that away. Um, you might as well keep it and give it to your horses just like that. Just a little bit less on this one. So I'll pop that to one side and give it to the horses when I go around later. So be careful to be so be sure to be careful when you do this because obviously it gets slippy and you don't want to cut yourself on the grater. Um, carrots are easier to grate. And obviously I'm going to stop there because the um like I'm quite near to the top and I don't want to accidentally grate my fingers so I'll again save the top for the horses so one thing I would recommend doing is trying to sort of squish it all down to see if you can get some moisture out because that's going to cut down your time it takes to cook Okay, so I have mixed two carrots and two apples together, and I must admit it tastes really nice. So, try not to eat all of your horse's food, um, but yeah, so obviously that's really wet, so 
So start, I want to start adding the dry components. So I'm now going to take a cup of oats and pop this in and mix that all in. Now I'm going to take a cup of my Alpha Alpha chap and pop that in. Chop and then not chop. So for you at home, if you just do this until you're happy with like the balance, obviously I'm making quite a few treats due to having so many horses. So you might only want to use like one apple and one carrot or just, you know, two carrots or something like that. So this is sort of the guesswork bit. It's not set in stone. I will like sort of add as I go um, and see how it turns out. So I'm going to add another cup of porridge oats. a bit more alpha alpha in there just so it's a bit more evenly distributed I'm going to use a big plastic one just so it's easier to clean because um, obviously molasses is very sticky. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to put it into a little plastic cup just so I can chuck it away because again it's very sticky, a lot easier if I do that. So when it comes to putting the molasses I'd recommend doing this over the sink because you it doesn't matter if you sort of spill it. So I. I'd probably decant it in from something like this into something smaller because it's very heavy and it's very easy to drop. So you can get it everywhere. Pour. So then when you get to the end, if you just sort of like pull it up and then get the last dribble with the cup. And hopefully you won't go everywhere. Okay, so now for the fun part of adding the molasses. Pour all of that in. This is why I said use a um, like old cup or something. You can use like normal ones, but these are just easier because you can just chuck them away. Okay, and then we mix. way to check whether it's like combining is to grab some and we're going to put these into little um, balls so grab it and sort of stick it together and if it sort of stays in shape okay then it's sort of ready but I think this might need a bit more molasses just because a lot of this is liquid so I think when it sort of dries out, they're not going to stick as well. So I'm gonna add a little bit more molasses and then we can start making the horse treats. This is a time to add a little bit of plain flour. I'm gonna add a little bit of mine just because it will help combine it just because 
the apples were really juicy and so was the carrot so I had a lot of water content in mine and um, if you use just carrot you probably won't need it but apples are a lot a lot juicier than carrot so I am going to pour a little bit of flour in just literally a tiny bit see how it goes see if I need any more see if it helps it bind a bit it's very much when you're doing stuff like this because of the sort of nature of what you're making it's very much sort of see how you get on um, and how yours are doing you don't want them too wet um, you want them rather sticky so they'll stick together and I don't know if you can hear it but it's making a really nice squidgy sound that's what you want, you want it to sound nice and squidgy and sort of start forming into like a big ball okay so once your mixture has got to the point where it's like one big stuck together treat and it's just really sticky um, and just wants to bind like this that's when it's ready to be shaped and popped into the oven so you have a few options that you can do I'm going to go with two of them um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some into a bowl and then put them on the um, baking tray and then some of them are going in a silicone mould over there so I'll show you how to do the bowl one first because that's the easiest so all you need to do is decide how like big you're going to want to make your treats and then roll them into a ball. You need to try and keep them quite uniform in size because otherwise they'll cook at different speeds. So the chaff that we've put in or the chaff or whatever you want to call it um, is a bit of a pain when you're doing balls because it sort of doesn't want to sort of stick in one size but you just sort of have to deal with it. So, um, here we go. So this is one ball, all done. Um, you just want to make sure it's nice and compact and not too sort of loose. And then you just want to take that and pop it on your tray and then continue making the next lot. So the other slightly easier option is to use a silicone mold like I've got here and all you literally do is just sort of get a handful and sort of squidge it into your mould. Um, these will make much bigger treats though will this sort of mould um, unless you have like quite a small one so that's something to consider you might want to break these apart when you sort of give them to your horses but moulds are easier but they're still just as messy but I quite like making the balls over making the silicone mould. Silicone moulds don't always hold as well um, but they still are quite nice. There we go. So I've turned the oven down to 200 degrees Celsius because you don't want them to burn, you want them to just sort of cook and dry out. So I'm going to pop them in now.
and you want to cook them until they're a nice golden colour um, and check them every so often. So while you're waiting for those to cook, you can clean up all of your utensils that you've used. Or you can go and take the little bits of fruit and veg that you've got left over and give them to your horses. Top tip, dogs like carrot too. Stay, take it nice and stir. There you go. They've been waiting all the time I've been making them treats for this carrot. Nom noms. Nice mellow. No more. Oh. Okay, so I've just done a check at 15 minutes, which is approximately halfway. And as you can see, they're all going a really nice colour. They Because the um, molasses is quite dark and there's quite a bit in them, they do look quite dark. Um, but they're not burnt or anything, they just look quite dark, especially when they're under the light and obviously you don't want them to burn. So I just turn them over after about 15 minutes and pop them back in on a slightly lower temperature. Okay, so after about 20 minutes, take your um, treats out of the oven. So for example, with these. So these are what they will look like. They're a nice sort of goldeny brown color. I think I put mine on slightly too high heat they are a bit brown on the outsides, but they're not burnt, so they will be fine. Um, it depends on your molasses, like how dark your molasses is. Obviously, my molasses was really dark um, as to how they come out. Um, but these are perfect. I think my little one looks slightly a bit more burnt, but that's because it's a tiny one from what I had left over. Um, so make sure you let these um, cool for quite a while because obviously... Even though the outside is easy for me to pick up and doesn't feel too hot, the insides will be very hot still. So I'd recommend leaving them for about an hour to cool. You can even pop them in the fridge if you want to, to let them cool um, before you give them your horses. My silicone ones are taking a bit longer to cook, so we'll see how long those take. Okay, so there we are all done. The... The silicone ones took a bit longer, they took about 40 minutes in the oven and came out a lot darker. Um, again, I think that's just because all of the molasses sort of sank to the bottom of these, um, which is why they appear darker than the other treats, but it's just the coloration of the molasses. Um, so they have had time to cool now as well, uh, so I think we'll go and try the horses with them. So it is now taste test time. I have my horse treats. I'm just going to try the balls um, because the hearts hadn't cooled down fully. So I'm going to try these with the horses and see if they like them. For a treat! Yeah, this is. So Taffy is going to be our first guinea pig. I'm going to break it in half just because they're really big. Um, so try a bit. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Yeah, like it? Nice. Oh, more. Nom 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 nom. Yeah. Oh, he likes that. There you go. Can I get the seal of approval, Mister. I've not got no more. I'm sorry. There you go. Well, Taff certainly likes it. Yes. Don't you, Mister? Typical Daniel. I have to come to you. Right, Mister. Do you want to treat? He says yes please. There you go. Try that. What do we think? Oh! Is it that good? Yeah! Oh! Is it nice? Oh! He looks so happy. Is that a nice treat? Yeah! Oh! Nom noms. Do you like any more? Do you have any more fatty? So far we've impressed the two picky ones, so let's see what Lucy thinks. 
There you go, madam. Ooh. So you've not had one of these before. What do you reckon, Goose? Do you like it? Yeah. There's more. You're all so greedy. Good girl. Oh my god. Charlie's waiting patiently for once for his. Hello, mister. Oh, he says, oh, food. Food. Do you want one? Yeah. What have I got? Come on then. Oh, happy boy. Yeah. That nice. <laughs> she says yes, yes, mum. Yes. Is there any more? <laughs> well, so far, we're doing really well. I think maybe Caramel wants one. You can have a little one, because you're a little pony. Is this Cara? Is it? Here you go. No, oh, she says, oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. So, all in all, it went really well. I think that's a five out of five for, from the horses. And, yeah. Happy guys. Happy horses. With quite a few treats left.